subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Danny Houston. Podcast. I am Danny Houston, man. If you wonder who I'm talking to, man, listen, man. When you talk about H Town, man, you know what I'm saying. You talk about the South Side, you know what I'm saying. You talk about the Screw Movement, Screw the Click, all that, man. This dude here, man. When people talk about him, it's almost like he's like a South Side superhero. You know what I'm saying. Just been so influential in so many things and so many movements and so many just different things that we are gonna get into on the show, man. But uh, today, man, I'm honored. You know what I'm saying. Stick one. What's going down? Man, what's up? What's up with it, DA? Just good, bro. Yeah. Good to get over here, holler at you, man. And like I say, it's a good vibe, man. You know, uh, everybody can't get me out the house. Everybody yeah. can't stop me from doing what I do. But uh, say, man, when Dez told me about it, yeah, man, I could see through your videos, your vibe, how you move, good dude. So, man, hey, same here, dude. It's a pleasure to be here. Man, I appreciate you, man, for real. Yes, sir. Yes, for sir. real. But uh, like we was just talking, man, just uh, – that dead end, man. Just talk about just coming up, you know what I'm saying? Over there, like, how it was just growing up. Before we get to the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Just right. what you were doing and what kind of even influenced you to even be, you know, stick one and, you know what I'm saying, who you came out to be. Yeah, man, that dead end, man. It, you know, we we had sets of apartments, you know what I'm saying? New Orleans, Esperanza, Summerwood, Kingsgate, and then, you know, farther down, Silencia, you had Cresma and the VA. You know what I'm saying? So so you had you had you had some you had some real hustlers, man, in the VA. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, my OG, a couple OGs, you know, but OG that helped me out, you know, come out of that VA, Key Babbin. Key Babbin, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, you know. You was fucking with Key Babbin. Oh my OG, yeah, no doubt. No okay, we gotta talk about this, man, because yeah, Key yeah. Babbin was heavy, man. Yeah, oh yeah. That was that was my that was yeah, that was my people. That was my people right there, man. So uh Key, you know, Anthony Benjamin, Churchill, you know, dudes like that down there in the, in the VA. And then Kingsgate, S. Ron's, you had Cecil, Jonathan Rollins, you know, look, KK, and Terry, Black, George, Junior, you know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes. Like, at that time, people like KK and, and Junior, them boys was just like young hootlum type, just, you mm. know, you know, just ready to trip and thug, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they was ready to trip and thug, you know, as time went on though, KK graduated and brought that thing to the player side. And really, man, that was that was really when I look back and say, man, that that, that, that dude he done it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? He he came up, you know what I'm saying, stopped doing that thugging part, started doing the player and hustling part and and he brought his crew with him too, you know what I'm saying? They was a little younger, he brought them with him, man. So then you come over to the Orleans, man, you know, Hawk State, Hawk and Pat at the time, they stayed in Kingsgate. They stayed in Kingsgate. Cause uh, KK was in Kingsgate too, right? KK was uh, KK was in Kingsgate too. Right. They was all over there. So you had, you know, my partner Butler, uh, TJ, uh, dude named Clark, PJ, uh, shoot country. Uh, probably dude you you may not hear a lot about, but he he, he was out there slamming uh, Hillman. I heard about Hillman. Yeah, 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 he was over there. So Hillman is he's he would be oh he would be more like closer to the Keith Babin era, or he's more in, he, your, he, in your he, age. Him, 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 and Blunt was about the same age. I'm about a year, uh, about a year and a half older than both of them. Hmm, okay, but but he was in the VA. Gotcha. Hillman started off over there with them, with Babin them, Jimmy Dean, you know, people like that. Man, hmm. they they was down there in the VA. So. You come, you know, you had all them different sects of apartments, man, and 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 you know, it's kind of like the Orleans really became like the place to be out of all them apartments. Like Summerwood fell, Crestmont kind of fell, Foxwood, you know, wasn't as much at, at this time. And this, this is what, what what years we talking right now? What we at? Let's say by eighties, like I say before 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 I really kind of ventured into the street, yeah. kind of what motivated me to hit the yeah. streets, you know what I'm saying? And is the slab game still, is it going down? Are you seeing the slab game yeah, at this you, time too? Yeah, you got dudes out of Crestmont, you got Lynn, you know what I'm saying? You got Poopy from Hillwood, you know what I'm saying? You got Key Babb, you got Anthony Benjamin, you know what I'm saying? Churchill, Tracy, you know what I'm saying? You got them dudes right there in the neighborhood, Paul and Miguel. Uh, Miguel had a little Camaro. So, you know, you had you had dudes like that, man, that, you know, would go by the, the high schools, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm in high school shooting ball, you know what I mean? You went to Sterling? Yeah, went yeah. Sterling. Yeah. yeah, shooting ball, man. And, you know, you see all that, you know what I'm saying? You, you see them boys doing it and, you know, looking good, you know what I mean? They coming mm. through the schoolhouse and, man, you know, I got to go practice, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so stuff like that, man. It but was you started cool. out wanting to hoop, though. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Was hooping. Hmm. It was hooping, yeah, yeah. I had a few letters, man. Oklahoma State, uh, Tulsa. I had a few. I had a few little letters. Oh know shit! What I'm how, how long did you play ball? I, I by my junior year, man. I started kind of, you know, kind of tripping. You hmm. know, what I'm saying, letting the streets. Not wanted. I still wanted to play ball, but you know, I didn't want to give my work. You know, what I'm saying, didn't want to go to class. You know, what I'm saying, wanted to do other things. You know, not saying it was the smartest thing, but that's what happened. All right. So, uh, yeah, man, you know, Joker going to school, man, you know, messing with girls, call herself dressing, you know what I'm saying? Back then, you know, you thinking you're dressing or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're getting to know these dudes, you know. I, I used to mess with that boy Roger out of, uh, uh, out of VA. He was, he was in school with me, calling Roger Rabbit. Uh, used to mess with him, man, and, and, you know, go back to the highs, you know, holler my partner Butler, Big Hawk. You know, we chill and now, you know, we all going to school, man. And are you more you close you in you in Hawk's age or you in closer to Pat Pat's age? Yeah, yeah, me and Pat pretty close. Hawk older than year older than me. Yeah. But yeah. all y'all going to Sterling though, right? Everybody's Sterling. Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody's Sterling. Yeah. It's a trip. Yeah. yeah everybody at Sterling, man. So we all trying to address one another, you know. So who <laughs> who can be the best dress? You know, back then you putting on some tweed slacks and a silk shirt. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? With your bows or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you may be doing, you know, guest jumpsuits and all that old kind of stuff. Boys had the flat top and all that. Oh going. man, yeah. boys out there, man, just throwed off them nine fifty one gazelles, the mm. Duke Ooh, chain. Yeah. Yeah, man, all that old kind of stuff. So so, man, we used to, you know, be out there doing all them little things, man, and, you know, learn how to do things. Matter of fact, I was getting a little job, so I, 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 had, I had my own clothes, you know what I'm saying? I was you know, working at the, probably the Astrodome back then, you know. My mom used to work there. Hmm. So I was working at the Astrodome, man, and, and, you know, getting my own little money, buying my own little clothes, buying some shoes, you know, my partner Peanut, he used to be over there, man. So we used to just do a lot of dressing, man, and, and, uh, like I say, man, I tell a lot of people. Well, I don't tell a lot of people, but within myself, man, what motivated my hustle more than seeing the, the OGs ahead of me was seeing Blunt younger than me. Hmm. Yeah, Blunt started early. Is Blunt going to school at this time, or he just like a neighborhood kid? Blunt shut know? it down. Hmm. Blunt stopped going to school, you know what I'm saying? But he was going to school with y'all. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so you see him like, okay, well, shit, Blunt ain't showing up to school no more. Yeah, but yeah. Next thing you good. know, he got a little saver, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm like, why? Wow, you know what I'm saying? And, and just watching him, you know what I'm saying? Just from a distance, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, man, they see people shine and, and begin to hate. I, hmm. I, I just ain't that dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm the kind of dude, man, you... you if you're shine real, it's gonna motivate me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna motivate me. You know, cause I'm, uh, you know, I like to believe I'm a born hustler. You know what I'm saying? So, so your shine gonna motivate me. So man, just seeing that boy, man, from a, from afar, man, and like I said, we had a, we had a, a close childhood. You know what I'm saying? We was like play cousins, so we had a close childhood. So seeing him, man, it was like, wow. Are you just seeing him, or is he telling you like, say, bro? I'm, no, I'm seeing too. him. You know, I stand all in. They stay at the corner of Selensky and, and MLK. So you're right there. Right, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, you can't go past Selensky without seeing something in the driveway. Or, hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm seeing this youngster, and I'm like, man, this boy here, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I tried to keep doing my thing, you know, going to school, whatever. So, but like I say, about 11th grade year, man, close to going to my senior year, you know, I, I think I even hollered at Blunt, man, you know. Say, man, give me one of them packs or something, man. Hmm. I mean, let me try to do something. You know what I'm saying? With no knowledge. You ain't had no knowledge of the game. You right. Just, man, just let me get something and get let, off let of me, it. Let yeah. me figure it out, bro. <laughs> let me, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to do something. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't really know if I ever even got something for Blunt or not. I can't recall. But, you know, as time went on, man, I started finding my way. You know what I'm saying? I started finding my way. Like I said, my OG was Keith Babbin, man, you know. I, I, I 
I started my own little grind from something small, hmm. probably a little old, you know, quarter pack or something like that, something small. And, and this is through Keith or this is just somebody that you It's just met? me this just yeah. me starting my own little grind. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was working, boom, okay, I'm finna get this. So I'm you finna, went by the pack. Oh gotcha. I'm, yeah, finna, yeah. I'm finna I'm okay. Okay. They don't wanna <laughs> give it to me. I'm gonna go get it myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And from there, bro, you know, just took it in and ran with it. You know what I'm saying? Took it and ran with it to the point to where, you know, you know, I could, you know, kind of stand up and have some kind of, you know, face value demand to where, hey, if I give you, if I buy this from you, can you show me love with this? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I start, you know, hitting it and going and hitting it and going and hitting it and going until I got to that point. I got to that point, man. I, How long did it take you to get there? Shoot. It probably took at that young age, man. It probably took me probably about six, about six, about six months to get with Keith. It took me about six months, hmm. and then when I got with him, it, you know, I say about a year, about a year. It just really, you know, what I'm saying, hmm. one of them UGK moments. You know, what I'm saying, bought my first key from my baby mama, brother. You know, what I'm hmm. saying, one of them. You know, what I'm saying. Just took it and just and just ran with it, you know what I'm saying? And I say, um, shoot, Keith had gotten in some trouble, you know what I'm saying? And and it got to the point to where I was, you know, I was putting money on his books, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. No but, shit. Yeah, you know, just you know, went went in and because he went in and what like eighty nine nineties and what up in there? Ninety one maybe? Yeah, probably about ninety ninety one. Yeah, about about the time. Around the time where I eventually end up meeting Screw, yeah, Keith, because Keith was with music too. He was street military. Yeah, right. yeah, Keith brought street military out. You know what I'm saying? Keith, man, Keith was, man, Keith, hmm. super heavy, man. That's, hmm. yeah, man, that's that's dude, man. You ever want to hear some real history? I done talked to him a few times. We just ain't been able to get the schedule together. But I done talked to Keith. Oh he yeah, told I let him like, know, bro. Yeah, yeah, you some real history. That's. That dude there, man, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm the kind of dude, man, I like to be law, you know what I'm saying, and real. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm the kind of dude, man, you know, not to venture out, but just, just on being law and real. I believe in, you know, you real to me, I'm going to be real to you. You know what I'm saying? And, and and I let that carry over in all phases of my life, man. I don't, I don't, I don't like, you know, I, I, I ain't never been the kind of dude, man, you my partner, man, I don't even want to look at your gal. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I respect you, mm -hmm. and it's about you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever she got going, on, that's between you and her. I don't even want to know that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because I got much love and respect for you. I'm uh, my dinner's gonna be with you, and I'm not going to even look. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just, I just had G code about me, man. I had real street G code about me, man. Mm -hmm. I, Would I you have an OG put you on that, or you, that was just your own principles that, that you was just, just me? Yeah, that was just me, man. And, you know, being law, like I say, being law to keep. You know what I'm saying? I was very law to him. You know what I'm saying? When he went down, man, you know, he can call me for anything. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, keep. That's how Des. All them got to meet Keep. They didn't know Keep. But I made sure he he stayed tapped in. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? While he was gone, I introduced him to Kiki. They, you know, just I made sure, you know what I'm saying. I made sure that 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 he stayed tapped in. Hey man, if I'm on the phone with him, you you finna talk to him, da. Yeah. Say man, it's my partner, Keith. Man, sure, holler at him. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, and you know, it just was like that, man. You know, stay loyal to him. Like I said, he showed me love, man. You know, he showed me love once I was able to get on my feet, cause it's it's one of them principal type things to where. You know, if 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 I'm buying a, a half or a, a whole ounce or something, man, I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I want to get to the point to where I can demand a little something with my money. My money got some value to you. Hey, if I'm getting nine, can you give me nine? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. When I get a half, can you give? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know, to to just keep going and going and going. And, and he was the one that really showed me love. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He showed me love. He did it because I was buying from another dude too named Lynn. But but nobody showed me love like Keith, man. You know what I'm saying? Keith showed me love. So as far as that dead end go and just coming from, you know. But by the time Keith get locked up, though, you were already like, now you on. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, by 
that time because I put in work. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, Keaton didn't want to go out. I used to go down there, hey, man, before you go, let me come holler at you. You know what I'm saying? Go get what I need to get. We laugh. You know what I'm saying? I'll be smoking. You know, he made me laugh because he had a perm. <laughs> <laughs> that boy had a perm. I seen some man. pictures of Keith back in the day, yeah. Man, that boy was so With the fly. finger wave or something? Oh, like, yeah. man, with that finger wave <laughs> way back in the day, man, when nobody wasn't thinking about that, man. That boy had that thing, man. One day I went over there, man. That boy was scratching his head. <laughs> And that boy hat was all over his head. And that boy said, man, my hat done lost his mind. <laughs> man, man, I'm high. Man, you imagine I couldn't stop laughing, bro. That boy hat all over his head. That boy said, man, my hat done lost his mind. <laughs> say, man, I lost it, man. But I used to go down there, man, and, and, and before he go out, say to me, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Shh. Next morning, I already getting gave him his. That's what I was gonna I'm ask you. How fast mine. is this shit moving? Like for it's, you, to see what happened with me. That's how, you know, like I say, it was a bunch of hustlers in in the hood, bro. It was a bunch of hustlers in the hood. But see what happened with me, man. I, you know, I'm just, you know, what I'm saying. I talked to you on the phone, man, when I was telling you about how I feel about your vibe, your move. You know, it reminds me of a screw move. You know, a lot of people might not see that, might not understand that. But like I told you, I've been known to be called deep before. So, so, so me, man, I'm, I'm, I'm looking, man, I start, I, people used to want to whoop dope fiends where I'm from, you know what I'm saying, in the hood. I start saying, I'm going to hang out here with them. I'm going I'm to strap up. Man, I had, I had, man, I had some champion back then, some green champion shoes. Champion done came back around mm -hmm. them. Had some green champion shoes, some some gold champion sweats, and a green champion uh, hoodie. Bro, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, I'm this serious about it. I took a bath, but for a month straight, I ain't changed clothes. No shit. I'm just on the block. Around. I washed it. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm putting this on every day. I get what I want to get. Yeah, set out there. So, so I I used to be out there with them, and then what happened was what what made the difference. Like you say, how it was moving so fast. I connected with this lady who was smoking. I don't want to call her fame, but this lady who was smoking. I connected with her, and all the smokers used to go to her house all times of the night. Hmm. So. They they talking, they, about trap, they talking about a trap house. I had a trap house. You know what I'm saying? Boom. I give her, you know what I'm saying? Break her out some. I'm in the back with her son. We playing dominoes, probably drinking faulty. You know what I'm saying? She, I need more. Sometimes she'd give me, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I know, I, I expect that. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. All time of the night, through the whole night, bro. You know what I'm saying? Through the whole night, man. Just just to go, 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 go. Crank back up in the morning, same thing. You know what I'm saying? And man, it just. That crack air was so wild, it though. It was wild, Just bro. even like, you know, uh, Alpo just got killed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Paid for the shit. So I'm just, you know, that whole era. It was, it like, was, it was wild, bro. Dog. It was wild. So, so man, you know, I got that little old house, man, and. Nobody else couldn't penetrate it because the depthness, you know what I'm saying? I thought, I'm going to break her off something. I'm going to let her be the lead. I'm going to be in the background. And then I'm going to even, I'm going to even, if I go home and sleep for an hour or two, I'm going to leave her something. You know what I'm saying? My, now, my partner was her son. I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's wild. Yeah, my partner was a son, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? You, you and know, y'all like like eighteen, nineteen around his age or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About eighteen, nineteen. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So that thing, the Marlene was lit, bro. The Marlene was lit. So, so from now, man, I come probably about ninety one, by ninety. I had a Delta eighty eight. It's the first slab. First slab. Yeah. First. Now, I, I don't know in the whole South, if they did, I, I never saw it. First ever candy to hit the boulevard. Hmm. 
I had the first ever candy hit the boulevard. Hmm. Red. What made what made you jump out like that? Well, I went. I had like I said, I had a Delta, so I went to go get it painted. And and the dude I used to mess with back then, name was Gilbert. Met him through Keith. He tell me, I got this new paint. He say, now it's high because it take a base coat. This nobody know nothing about candy, man. He said, take a base coat. He said, it's a little high. Back then, you used to pay seven, eight hundred dollars for a paint. This was eighteen hundred. He said, it's a little higher, but man, this here, man, this this will take you your car. I said, man, let's do it. Hmm. Let's do it. And I had another partner. I don't know if you heard it. You ever heard of Pee Wee? Uh huh. Okay, I had another partner, Pee Wee, man. He he was he was in the hood. Me and him was together. And Pee Wee, uh, he had got a Jag. I had a Delta. He was the second candy. Mine just came out the shop. We put him in the shop together. Mine just got out before his. So man, I hit that boulevard, bro. People ain't never seen no candy, man. I pull up in that re-roll car wash, man. One girl, one girl said, "Is that airplane paint?" Kiki told me that. He said, "Man, stick." Jumped out. He was the first one with candy paint, man. We was we didn't know what it was. We was calling it airplane paint. Man, people thought that was never seen it before. They thought it was airplane paint. No. My candy, oh, the candy I had was sunset red over gold. You know what I'm saying? It had a gold base. Sunset red was the color. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, that that was straight from grind. I'm talking about, I'm talking about DH. That's from being a hooper. To seeing blunt, I say, man, I'm I wanna I wanna do something. Now keep in mind that Blunt probably got about two slabs, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Blunt Blunt kept slabs, man. He kept slabs. He you know, Blunt, man, he, he super real when it comes to slabs. You know, longevity, creativity, he, he had it. You know what I'm saying? He had it. So so he got a couple slabs, but boy, when that can hit that bullo, they had to move. <laughs> They had to move, you know what I'm saying? Did you jump out? You jumped out foes and all that, or what? Back then, I had threes. Yeah, had I had threes, man. Candy, man. White, red piping, and then this is something they had never seen neither. I had sticking all four of my headrests. Hmm. Boys ain't never seen that, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, wait, wait, wait. So stick that just come from you being slim, right? So what does stick? What does the one come from? Well, that was just me. I had to be original because a couple of dudes. Starting to be get nicknamed Stick, hmm. so I said I'm Stick One. Yeah, I'm the original. Already, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that was just me putting the one with it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Came out with that thing. Then that's when candy started popping up. I, you know, everybody started getting into candy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I heard, man. I don't know, man. I heard uh, Keith told me. I think Keith told me that. But a dude named Joe Pete. Hmm. He had a, he came with a, a, a candy burgundy like Cadillac. I think it was a candy. Now, I don't know, man. I don't know how true it is, but I heard they, somebody told me Joe Pete is Meg Stallion's dad, but I don't, I don't know how true that is, though. No shit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I heard that. But, uh. Because her people supposed to be from, like, South Park area, though, right? Yeah. She, she looked like it. Hmm. She looked like it. I don't know if that's true or not, though. But uh, but yeah, man, he, he, I seen him. Then, like I say, Pee Wee came out right after me. Then you just start seeing candy pop up out of everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Just candy, candy, candy. You know. But you know what I'm saying? I kept my car for a long time, man. I kept, you know, I kept grinding, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, just one, just one slab. You just kept doing. Just the had one. that one slab, man. I kept me undercover. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had a, I had a, I had a uh, seventy-seven. Oldsmobile, heavy, deep tent, some little mirrors again. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I kept me on the cup because you know, I got to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. got to work. So, so uh, yeah, man. I you know just grind and grind and grind and grind and grind and see. My thing was too, man. I know we were talking earlier about broadening your horizon. I never. That's that's why. To a lot of people, like people who may see this, man. A lot of people can't tell you how it look. You know what I'm saying? I told you I fought my case for two years. Mm -hmm. I was going to house at seven. You know what I'm saying? Then I was gone by 95. You know what I'm saying? So, so 
and then me, I was the kind of dude, man, if you see me in the club, in the club, I'm looking for you. I'm looking for y'all. Hmm. What you buying? I got it. What you buying? You know what I'm saying? I catch the girls in the parking lot. But if I'm in the club, I'm going in the club for business. Hmm. So a lot of people heard of but didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm like Frankie, man. It's real G moving silent, bro. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Real G's moving silence, man. You, you know, all that being loud, that boy came home, burnt that mink. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I ain't saying, you know, you're supposed to have. Now, I ain't saying don't have. But what I'm saying is, at the same time, man, you know, have some concept to what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Even even my slant, man, before I got locked up, man, you know, Pat and Dez just drive my car more than me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because... I'm, I'm ready to work, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I got to work. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I looked at it. You know what I mean? Man, so, okay. When you, uh, talk about when you when you meet Screw. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you even get turned on to Screw. Because this is around this time, right? Right, 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 right. You got to move a little bit. You know, tough blow. Keep get moved off the scene. You know what I'm saying? You know, that kind of, you know, that kind of throw you. You know what I'm saying? That was my go-to. You know what I mean? Hmm. So now I got to reset things, you know what I'm saying? I got to reset things, look at it. Because cause you got to really think about it, D.H., you got to trust somebody who you go school from. You know what I'm saying? You got to trust them. Especially like that, when you're talking about yeah, getting that man, type of job. Knock yeah. your head off, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So so you got you got to trust them. You got to be real about it. You got to be ready. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to come ready, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what's going to happen, you know what I mean? That's just how I thought in there, you know, so... I had to find another connect, you know what I'm saying? And, and How long did it take you to do that? It took a little bit, a little bit messing around. I end up, I end up getting the, getting my heaviest connect end up coming, like I say, UGK. My heaviest connect end up coming through my baby mama hmm. people. You know what I'm saying? Her brothers was heavy, and 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 they had a they had a they had a Colombian type connect. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need you. I just need your people, you know what I mean, and and it, and my and my baby mama connect me, you know what I'm saying. So that that helped me get out the streets, far as you know, having to come find you, or, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. I you know I had time where I didn't scold people like you, you know, just till I found myself, you know what I'm saying. You know, and and you know when I found that connect, you know it was pretty good. But uh, but like I say, keep going, man. So. By the time I meet Screw, it's probably like ninety one. Uh, that that came that came by way through through Quincy through Q Dog, Q Dog told Blunt and Pat, Pat told and me and Hawk, you know what I'm saying. And from there, you know, I listened to the music and you know I was feeling the slowdown. I was feeling you know way scratch and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. And you know as time went on, I I found out. You know his meaning. Once he got to know you, his his scratching had a little meaning. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like if it was a part of you that he know, he might hit that about three, four times. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know he. So you, you you start really feeling that man. So I was feeling the scratch. I was feeling his uh, his his way he done things. His music, how he slowed it down, and then you most definitely was feeling how he talked on it. You know what I'm saying? So I went and over at that this man. time because this it ain't really nobody else on the tapes. It's just him. He's just shouting out the hood. It's just him. Just, ain't nobody on the. Yeah. I, I haven't. I hadn't heard nobody on the tapes. Yeah. The tape I heard through Pat and them was just screw, and probably, bro, probably my first five, six, seven, maybe I I even go ten hmm. tapes was just screw. Hmm. You know, fool. You know what I'm saying? It was it was just screw. You know what I'm saying? Before you, you know, like I say, when I met him, he was at his daddy. You wasn't really going to his daddy's going off on that time about you finna be doing no rapping. You know, yeah. you know so. When you, when you meet him, what's your impression of him? Like, all right, this the guy I've been hearing his tapes. All right, now I'm meeting him. Right, I go meet him. You know, I find out the process. So, you know, you write your list down. You know, what, what songs you want on now. Who, you know, some of the people you want shout it out. You know what I'm saying? And, Take him a list, you know, get to meet him or whatever, you know. And he came across, you know, 
as a as a mellow, good dude with a good vibe, like yourself, bro. I mean, I ain't just saying. I'm just I'm just being real with you. You know what I'm saying? That's how you come across. You know what I'm saying? So, so he came across like that. So boom, I left. You know, and he would page you or call you when your tape ready. When he called me, I happened to be at the store getting some tennis shoes. You know what I'm saying? It was some street ball Adidas that just came out black and blue. I'm getting some tennis shoes. So when he called me, I said, I was, say, bro, what, what size tennis shoe you wear? And he told me, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't say nothing. You know, I said, oh, okay. So I'm getting shoes. I grab him a pal. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I go pick up my tape, walking. Do you remember the name of your first tape? Or I sure it? don't, bro. Hmm. I don't remember. So I, 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 I go in there. uh Pick my tape up, I had a foot locker bag. I say, hey, bro, these for you. Hmm. He say, huh? I say, yeah, man, some new Adidas just come out. Boy, I grab that box, put that box on the table, took that shoe out and put that shoe on top of that box. Boy, old man was walking through the kitchen, grabbed, that, grabbed his old man by the arm, and they had a moment, man. That boy said, see, I told you this going to go somewhere. Hmm. That boy, him and his old man connect. And I just kind of step out the way. I know it's a moment. I let them have their little moment. You know, from now I get my tape, boom. And from now, dude, man, man, screw, man. Our relationship grew and grew and grew and grew and grew. And, man, you know, well, just one of them, you know, things uh, 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 how I see life. You know what I'm saying? What I see when you bring value, when you when, – when you, bring something to the culture, you got something I like that I want that also I want you to understand that, you know what I'm saying, what you doing is good. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the lifestyle of, of the culture and what I'm doing pull you over here. What you doing, yeah. remain a DJ. Hmm. So from there, man, I, I just started investing in the boy. Buy him a, he ain't had nothing to do with his money. He had his own money. You know what I'm saying? He ain't need me to do it. Every time a pair of Jordans came out, man, probably for the next three, four years, man, I bought that boy. When I got a pair of Jordans, he got a pair of Jordans. Hmm. Every time, bro. I call him, hey, I got them, I got them, I got them browns for you. I, you know what I'm saying? I got them Southern stuff for you. Every time. Space Jam, black. It, it, it didn't matter. Whatever came out, when the, when the Jordan came out, screw got him, man. That's real, man. Yeah, so, man, okay, so. Talk about because I know you, you know, we'll get into Kiki, but like, you know, Fat Pat from like a kid and mm -hmm. all that. Like, was he always, I always hear these stories, like, just how live he was. Was he that same kid, like, the whole way you knew him? He was always like, man, Pat, man, Pat was for his time, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pat was one of them dudes, man, to where, yeah, he stayed live. The boy is, people don't talk about it, man, but, but that, that that title of slab with blunt, it come through Pat creativity, man. Hmm. Pat and Dez, Pat and Dez, that I've been around. Pat and Dez had the most creative minds when it came to the slab, bro. That I've been around. Hmm. Them boys, the boys can put together a slab, man. Yeah, Dez was telling me he was like, bro, like that was, I was really into that. Them boy, mm -hmm. Dez designed my trunk and my slab. No shit. He designed my trunk, bro. Man, when nobody wasn't doing it, people was popping trunk, going around this and that. Nobody, they was they, they was white with vinyl, neon, plexiglass with the amps. That boy there say, man, you heard him. This is what you do. When you pop your trunk, tell him to put wood in your trunk. Hmm. Nobody doing this, DH. I'm talking about this boy, I see this, nobody doing this. Man, I went. Went to surround man, got that wood in my trunk. That was a that was that was another one of them candy moments. Hmm. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So we let's I don't want to get too far. Yeah, you know yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna come back, we're gonna come back to yeah, that. But yeah. Okay, so fat Pat, we talking about. Pat. Pat in his mind, him being creative, you know what I'm saying? He creative, man. Like I say, before his time, Pat was the kind of dude, yeah, no doubt, man. He he stayed. You know, upbeat, live, tripping. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, we used to do a lot of ranking. You know what I'm saying? Rank on each other, trip out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, just laugh, just 
man, it, it was it was it was it was a trip, man. I mean, if you hear that, if you hear that straight wrecking, that boy say, that boy say, hope got to get a quick stick riding dick. <laughs> he hot at me because on the cool he ain't hot, but but on the cool I'm bumping him. Tell him, Kiki, getting your ass right now. <laughs> no shit. I'm telling him, Kiki, getting your ass right now, boy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Talk, okay, let's talk. Now you done got me, man, we're going we gonna to jump to straight wrecking. Y'all doing straight wrecking, and you really in there like, this is what's going on. That's why he say, got to get it quick. Stay riding dick. So they in there just kind of going at it. Yeah, but Key don't know I'm saying this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and Pat... Long time partners, yeah. you know what I'm saying. I brought key into our situation. Pat, we long time partners. I know how I can talk to him. You know what I'm saying. I'm motivating him too. Yeah. Cause Pat was getting off now. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Yeah. But I'm just telling him. I'm saying, boy, this shit wants to get in your head. <laughs> what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying. Hold up, hold up, man. Hold up. You, you got yeah. to go listen to yeah. it, man. Yeah. yeah. Hold up. That's why he say that. You know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm messing with him. Telling him, say, man, right now, Kiki, he digging up in you, boy. No shit. He digging up I wish y'all could have had a camera, man. You know what I'm saying? When y'all was I doing think, that. Uh, no, nah, not that particular time, but we had one another. Uh, when I did that Saturday Night Live, it was right before. I was just listening to Saturday Night Live. Man. Right, Matter of fact, right before Saturday Night Live came, then me and Pat did that freestyle on So Many Tears. Mm -hmm. That same night. I had a camera in that end. I don't know where it's at, but I had a camera in there. I had a video call and a camera in there. But um, yeah, man. Pat, 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 Pat was a live dude, man. Pat, Pat was super real, man. Pat used to every weekend, man. When when I'm in the house, man. Pat used to take my slant, him and Blunt. You know, they either go double slant or Blunt or jump in the car with Pat. You know what I'm saying? Pat would be. I, I won't. I won't get my car back from Friday to Sunday evening. You know hmm. what I'm saying? Pat would just be, you know, he was just a live dude, man. You you had you had a lot of love for Pat, man. It's and and, and too, man. It's some real undercurrent too, man. If you hear another tape, uh, I forgot what what it was on, but but he said, "Heard from that stick, I got to get it quick." If if you just check the timeline, if you just kind of check the timeline. Pat Lincoln came out during a time. Well, it was a rough season for Blunt. And it's me in his ear telling him, listen, everybody consider you a Blunt follower or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They don't know the realness of you. This your time right now. You know what I'm saying? When everybody, because the streets talk, everybody knew. Blunt had just took a, a lick out of town. You know, everybody knew he, had, he just took a loss. You know what I'm saying? At that time, Pat, Pat slap, hit the slab hmm. with the Lincoln. Hmm. And that was all me feeding him saying, let's go. Let's go. He had a, he had a lick. Boom, I got to work. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And that boy went, and that boy hit that bullet, man. Yeah, the Lincoln is legendary. Oh man, that boy, that boy for his time, man, for real. Yeah. For us, ad libs and you know what I'm saying, dubs just coming in, just that ride mm -hmm. deep in the night. Man, that dude, that was man, that dude was a whole nother level, man. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't, wasn't nobody like Pat, dude, for real, for real. He he, Kiki, Kiki was more that kind of like on a dynamic type, you know, hit you real hard where you can feel it and, you know, street and, man, Pat was, Pat can go fly, Pat can start singing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Pat, man, Pat was another level, man. Yeah, yeah. Pat was another level, man, you know. So, so that, that conversation, like I said, why I hit him with that straight wrecking, that stain from the hood, mm. you know what I'm saying? From, from, Somebody asking me while we all three in a circle, what I feel. You know what I'm saying? I said, I don't know, man. I ain't gonna just, you know, I don't know. 
I don't know. All I'm going to tell you is they both can go. Hmm. I don't know. I, I I ain't say he can, you know what I'm saying, he better than him or he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that, that that young Kiki was, man, hey. Yeah, Kiki was some shit. He was man. a bull, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But as as time as time went on, when Pat started getting more on wax, you seen his versatility, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He was for his time, man. Yeah. Talk about uh about Hawk, because Hawk was on that Saturday Night Live with you. Right. Show up. Show up. Uh uh yeah, that was my partner, man. Yeah. That was my partner, man. Uh I say it was Blunt and Pat, Stig and Hawk. You know what I'm saying? Like two play cousins and two brothers, you know. Man, me and Hawk, man, we did everything together, you know what I'm saying? I pick him up. I mean, we we at a young age, you know what I'm saying? I would buy him something on his birthday, buy me something on my birthday, you know what I'm saying? Just just, you know, just dudes that were real close friends, man, mm. and just really, you know, just down one another, you know. He knew my my family, I knew his family, you know what I'm saying? It was it was it was super real, man. How I was a good dude, man. He was my partner, man. You know, for the longest, you know, Hawk, Hawk always worked. You know what I'm saying? That's another. That's another reason. You know, sticking around him. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't allow. You know, the culture to really take him to where he wanted to start. You know, trying to be a hustler. He kept working. Kept doing. You know what I'm saying? Then he got into the music. You know what I'm saying? He was able to make money and do things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now nah, he was a real dude, man. Hawk was a real dude and. His style kind of tell you who he is, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he was heavy vocabulary type, you know. He 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 was a smart dude, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hawk was a big smart dude, big cool dude, you know, and, and, and he really knew how to mess around and play on words, you know what I'm saying? He, and he kind of liked that. That's why he dig into, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to, to words like he do. You know, hieroglyphic and, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, you know Hawk, man, he, he was real, man. Just a good dude, man. Just a real genuine dude. You know, big old bow. Yeah. Big old bow, man. Yeah, big old yeah. cool dude, man. Yeah. Man, talk about, uh, so you, uh, how you even get introduced to Kiki from Screw and then that whole story, you know what I mean? How you pulled up in Hershelwood that day. Yeah, that was, that was, that was a trip, man. Was, uh, Screw, let me hear this this uh, freestyle that he did, and uh, I listened to the freestyle. And when I heard it, I said, "Man, this dude talented, man." Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just first time here at the DH, I just I knew that boy was special, man. That boy was special. You know what I'm saying? He was very special. And 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 before I get to the point to why I pulled up on him, how I met him, or whatever. Man, it was to the point to where when 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 I first brought Key around, people wanted to know partners, hood, why I'm tripping, you know, because they had a persona with that Herschelwood thing, hmm. that Crip thing, you know what I'm saying? They had a persona, so so people want to know hey, what you bring this dude around here for. Cause he said they was just young and wild and just, <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm yeah. yeah, they had a persona about themselves. You know what I'm saying? So to see me bring him into the hood was like, say man, say what what what, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, he he, he, he real. Hmm. He right. You know what I'm saying? He right. So so yeah, man, just uh, screw pull me over. Let me hear that. When I heard that man, I told that boy it was him and Bird. I told I told him, man, uh, I need to meet this dude, man. Whoever he is, I need to meet him. You know what I'm saying? I said, I really need to meet this dude. I need to find out who he is, man, because at the end of the day, I could see how special he was. And people didn't really understand me, you know, because you don't really talk and tell everything. But, I mean, if you look, you got to understand I'm on a monitor. You know what I'm saying? Are oh, you on a monitor at this time? Uh, let me see. Yeah, this was about '93 when I met Kiki. No shit. Yeah, this this uh, uh, was I just getting off the monitor. But uh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So talk about before before that. Then how do you even how you uh end up getting you know arrested or locked up or whatever like? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I had a partner man named Co Chad. Uh, he he had a. 
he had a stain that he wanted to make, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, it, it was one of them things to where, you know, I just wanted to see him put some money in his pocket, you know what I'm saying? You know, show him some love. So, so he had went and met the people and he came back and he told me, you know, what the situation was. And I told him straight up, DH, I said, man, let me tell you something. Either them laws or they trying to jack you. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you being my partner, I know you can't replace what I'm giving you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no $10,000, you know what I'm saying? He trying to do a half, half a thing, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got that kind of money, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to fall out with my partner over no money, right? And and what really caught me was my loyalty. He had a uh, a girl that he was messing with from uh, Louisiana. He had, they was, you know, we all, you know, Chad stayed with me for a while. So I was staying in my apartment on the Southwest side. So when Chad came back and told me that the situation that the people was driving a 5.0 Mustang. I said, Chad, listen, bro. Wait, wait, so it was a five, they were driving a 5.0? They drove, so he just went over there staking. I told him to bring them back. Good he didn't, you know what I'm saying, because there was a loss. I told him to bring them back. So they didn't want to leave because they were set up already. It was, they were meeting them at a, a Taco Cabana, two pesos probably back then. So they was... Everybody already ready to go. Yeah, they, they disguised in parking lots, you know what I'm saying? So they didn't want to leave. So uh so he 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 uh when he came back, he told me what they were driving. I said, I said, listen, bro, a five point oh? I say five oh, man, that's the laws. Hmm. Five oh. I said, that's the laws, man. I said, either they the laws or they trying to jack it. But he had that girl with him, right? And I was telling you, you know, off camera, you know, I'm loyal and I'm, and I, I'm real to my partners. I said to myself, I can't stay here because if they laws. And they come. Not only that, but if they laws and they get him, I'm here with her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be here with her alone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that even on nobody's conscience. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't supposed to go. I had a partner that was supposed to go with him. But I went with him. And when I went with him, you know what I'm saying, you know, boom. So from now, man, we got pop, you know. Uh, man, I had a, I had one of the – I had the third, third best lawyer in the state of Texas, hmm. Mike DeGarren. And his brother was number one. Dick again. So I had the third best lawyer in the state of Texas, and I also when you when y'all when y'all got when it happened, were you like, oh shit, man, like man? I tried to run, bro. No shit. Cause I wasn't in the car, cause it wasn't mine. It's yours. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't in the car. It was his stuff. So I'm 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 standing outside the car. It's a dude get in the car, look at it. When he get out, he do this. That was just that, that was, was a signal, signal, yeah. That was it's, a signal. It's good, to, yeah. To the Fed, and yeah. it turned out to be the Feds. That boy did this when he did this. I heard get on ground, so I started running. So I I got everybody behind me beat, but a dude, one of them loud, jumped in his car and went into the street. And when I was coming across, if I get across that median and get into my apartments, they they done. I'm coming across the median. This dude jumped out of his car with a gun, pointed to my head and said, get on the ground or you're dead. So I stopped, looked behind me. It's about 12, 15. <laughs> coming. I said, so I just laid down. I laid down, bro. Them, them boys cuffed me, picked me up, hog tied me, picked me up, throw me into, I'm talking about this is in June, throw me into the back of the truck, man. It was so hot in the back of that truck, man. And them boys said, this is the DEA. I said, man, I know they couldn't have said that. Ain't no way this, ain't no way I'm catching the case and it's a federal case, man. No way. You know what I'm saying? Turned out, man, it was the feds, man. So, you know, that was a, that was a trip right there, man. You know, just getting popped like that.
So, like I said, I had I had a good lawyer, and I also paid for Chad's lawyer. So, in in a way that people don't really know, Chad's lawyer worked for me. So, not that he I thought he was, but if he ever had to say something, it had to come through me. Mm -hmm. I would have to know. But Chad was super real. You know, not, never, you know, he never, he, he stood firm on it was his. I was just rolling with him, you know what I'm saying, and and boom. So, uh, so how much how much time they trying to get you when, when uh whenever when you start going to court? Oh, oh no, we 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 was both looking at uh uh what what they call it in conspiracy with intent to deliver, which is ten to ten to life. You know what I'm saying? So you know, then they got to go by your scale. You know your priors and mm -hmm. all that, mm -hmm. but you so, ain't had no priors. You was good. I had you know some 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 felony county been in a gun you know a pistol case a marijuana case you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but I didn't have no major felony. I had stuff I've been in the county for. I had never been to the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying. So, uh, you know from there, man, they was trying to they was starting off at ten, man. Lord just blessed, man. I just you know what I'm saying just long nuts, bro. I just, I, I I took them to. Fed's got a 98.9 conviction. Wait, 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 wait. You went to trial? I went to trial, dude. I went to trial. Mm -hmm. I actually beat my case because they had a mistrial. Because how we had a mistrial was the lawyer, the dude that Chad knew that he was selling to, but Chad, your partner, you Chad partner, but your partner who you don't know who gave the signal he was actually working for the feds, but you don't know that. You just trying to help him get mm -hmm. connected. Then here come Chad, and I'm with Chad. You know what I'm saying? So they get all three of us, but you try to turn evidence on me and don't even know me to get time off you, Chad partner. Mm -hmm. So the, the court-appointed lawyer that started on his case my lawyer hired after they after he turned over that he was going. Now the state, now the, the government representing him now. Hmm. So my lawyer hired his lawyer. So the mistrial came about was the judge told them that the, nobody can tell the jury, neither side can let the jury know that his ex-lawyer now works at my lawyer's firm. Because they said unfair trial because mm -hmm. he knew too much mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. So my lawyer was eating him up as he tried to say what he ever he had to say about me. You know what I'm saying? And in the midst of that, the DA knew he was losing. So he gets up, say about five, is it not true this? Is it not true this? Is it not true this? Is it not true that your former lawyer, such and such? Judge hit the gavel, send the jury out. Mistrial. So how you end up with the ankle monitor though? Well, it's the feds. It's ninety eight point nine. So from now they came and now they want to give me an mis. I, I never heard of this. In misprisonment. I know it now. In misprisonment of a felony. In misprisonment of a felony says you knew a felony took place but didn't report it. I never heard of that. Hmm? And that's actually a law. In misprisonment of a felon. So once I beat that case, they couldn't bring no more evidence in from that case. Once I beat that case, they was coming back and want to try, try me for in misprisonment of a felony. That carried uh, 12 to 36 months, three years max. So my lawyer was telling me to plea. Plea with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling him, I ain't pay you to plead. We're going to keep fighting him. He's, he asked my mama, man, what's wrong with him? Hmm. Do he not know? You know what I'm saying? So from there, man, it went on for a few months, man. My lawyer was trying to convince me, you know what I'm saying, to take the time. And it got to the point to where, you know, they got messy. They was going to try to bring my dad in for laundry. And, and, you know what I'm saying, they, you know, they had to start because they had to come up with new evidence now. So they was trying to bring my dad in because I used to kind of fundle money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so they was so when when I seen they start messing with my family, 
you know, I went on here, and they actually, man, like I said, that was from 12 to 36. They actually gave me the max. They gave me the 36 months on that. But know. this whole time, though, while the trial is going on, this is when you out, you still out yeah, on the monitor. Yeah, 93 to 95, man. Yeah, this I, I fought my case for two years. And then this time, this is when, like you say, you go pull up on Herschelwood because you had asked Screw to introduce you to Kiki. You right, know what I'm saying? right, right, right. So, so uh, I told Screw and 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 uh, Bird, hey man, introduce me to this dude, man. I want to know who he is, man. I, I need to holler at him. Man, them dude took about a week, bro. <laughs> Nobody ain't, can't tell me nothing. I ain't seen Kiki yet. I said, man, y'all taking too long, man. I know where Herschelwood at now. You know what I'm saying? So I jumped in my slab, bro. In my, I think back then my car was, I was in the slab. I think it was white on white. Then I don't even know if it was purple. It was, no, white. It was white. I remember Kiki tells me like he said, "Man, it was white, man." Yeah, you know, white on white. Yeah, it wasn't even. I hadn't even painted the candy yet. That's another thing. I bought my car from. I bought my car from from the dealer just. So just after like the, after the Delta, you get the slant. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I had three twenty five BMW too, but but uh, when I got that car, it was white on white. So I pull up on Keenum on they block, but. Eight, ten dudes out there. I'm talking about they on, they on up, they right there. I pull dead up to them, man. Say, man, who, who, who is Lil Kiki? Boy, I was looking at me, man. What, man, what? You know what I'm saying? But I knew Tyrone and Leon. I knew two dudes that was out there. Come to find out, I ain't know when I pulled up. So they were like, oh, what's up, Steve? I said, yeah, man, I want to holler at that boy, man. I heard that boy was screw how. Man, I met that boy just like that, man. Pulled so he out. was right outside there. You had to he, go. He was in that group. Hmm. He was in that group. He was in that group. Him and Lil Duke. You know what I'm saying? Met them boys right there, man. I'm talking about, hey man, that was like, <clears throat> man, that was like pulling up. That was like, that was like some of the strangest stuff that could ever happen, man. Somebody pull up on them boys, cut in a slab, and jump out. Don't know who you looking for and say, hey man, who? Man, they could think I'm coming to do something to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was that serious. Yeah. One D. Kiki told me that he said he got in the car right then, big cup of drink. So sure did, bro. Blowing. Yeah, I went to screw house right then and there. So sure did, bro. That boy <laughs> got in the car and we went play a mode from that point. <laughs> now, just take this. This all for me just saying, boy, that's something. Right are there. you trying to be like an A and R or something, or you just like, man, I just want to be down with whoever live? Like, I, you know, what I'm saying, you nah, got something going I, I, on. I'm messing I, I with. I wanted you. to make something work. Hmm. I want, I wanted to wash the money. You know what I'm saying? I want, you know what I'm saying. So you, so you had aspirations of doing the music thing yeah. and getting it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to do something. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do something. When I heard him, yeah. I wanted to do something. You know, I, I didn't want to approach Pat like that because of Blunt. Yeah, I was friends and, and Blunt too. Was Blunt trying to do the music I don't, thing? I didn't see that. I, I didn't dab into that. But I knew they was close enough to where. Then when like you was in true. He hustling. I ain't want to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to come to him like that. You know, so I don't know if they had that connection going on or not. So I, uh, that was, that was, other than just being real, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, showing him life and, you know, you know, this is how this thing really is out here. Other than that, that's that was part of the reason. That was the reason for me going to holler at him, but it just became bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? We became real partners, man. You know, and to this day, man. That's why, man, see, a lot of people don't don't really see, know, and understand, man. When 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 I when I saw that, bro, just think about that. Just hearing that from a tape, it was a vision I got. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for me to come home, bro, and see Kiki moving and grooving. Man, I feel so good because guess what? The Lord showed me something back then. Yeah, you saw it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel good, man. I want, man, I'd be so happy for that boy, man. It, man, that boy, I got all kind of pictures. That boy sent me from the start, from that cutlass, any slab he ever had. He sent me pictures when he in the in in the and getting his inside done. Man, big bro, this what you show me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then woo, 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 woo. Hey man, and it's like, man, I'd be just so, you know what I'm saying? I'd be so happy for him, dude, because it's it's really confirmation to me we ain't have to go that route we ain't, you know we ain't have to do nothing illegal or we, you know 
But it's confirmation to me, man, what the Lord showed me in that boy, that's 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 what he is. You know mm. what I'm saying? I love the fact, man, Kiki a boss, man. I love the fact that he do his thing, man. I look I seen the same thing in Dez. Mm. So when I look back and see them two being men to their family, being real, carrying their family, having their own, man, I love that, bro. Yeah. I love it to the point to where it's like, man, I saw that. In them. Because my plan was before I got popped. I don't even know if I ever even told Dez this. My plan was before I got popped, dude, I'm finna turn everything over to Dez. No shit. Sure. I'm finna turn everything over to him. I don't even know if I ever told him that. That's yeah. how that's how I went down because I was done. I told, I just told you, I told Chad, that's the laws, bro. He that's the laws they're trying to jack it. I knew it. So you was ready to get up out the game. But mentally, I was checked out. I already, I already had found who I wanted to take to the next level. Me and Dez was, man, me and Dez, we used mm. to grind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just, just roll, just love, just. And I seen that boy was real, man, because really just him being real in general. But that monitor, that monitor tell you a whole lot about people. Mm. Cause you can't be where you you can't be everywhere and do everything. And say, dude, I used to have to go on a two week break from smoking, and I used to just drink water and beer to clear clear myself. You know what I'm saying? So so I say if I go on the fifteenth, I know I got to go back to see my PO, my pre child thing. You know while I'm still out on the fifteenth. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I go from the fifteenth, say to the end of the month to the thirtieth. You know what I'm saying? Smoking, you know what I'm saying, whatever. By the third, I'm gotta cut, I'm cutting it off for 15 days. You know what I'm saying? I'ma just drink a bunch of water, drink beer. Hey man, some of my closest partners, dude. When I went on that break, dude, was well, nowhere to be found. No shit. Nowhere to be found. I found one days. Hmm. I don't care if it was for three hours. Two hours, that boy, man, I know you're on your break, man. I know you can't do nothing but drink beer. I'm coming by and drink some beer with you. Hmm. What's up, bro? What, what you doing? Next day, what's up, bro? Come get me, man. We're going to drink some beer. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, man, I got the blow. I say, man, that boy was so real. And see, man, it, it was stuff like that. Not only did I knew he was real, you know what I'm saying? But when he do that, that showed me a whole different, that's loyalty. You know what I'm saying? So man, I had I had put in my mind, I got dudes around me, DH. I got I got dudes around me. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing why I say I'm from I'm from the dead end, man. I couldn't I couldn't find that guy, man. Man, I would sometimes just come and just give you something. Hey, here, get on your feet. My hood, I'm talking about. My hood. Never with KK. I was I was so happy KK changed, but see, KK had something going on that wasn't in the city. Hmm. So he popped up on kind of quick on another level like you know what i'm saying so so it never was with him i was so happy when he changed over from what he was doing to a player it's like man that's my you know it's, i'm looking for people outside the hood. this boy done popped up this boy in my hood you hmm. know what i'm saying we need to get together and make something happen but it was too late i was getting ready you know what i'm saying my time was you know so but in between the finding talking to the dads and finding the key i'm looking for somebody where we can Put money and mind together, and, and let's do it. Hmm. Cause I would invest in dudes in the hood, bro, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't do it. Hmm. I, I would give my partner who took the time, I give him something and tell him, hey man, go ahead, man, like I did. You know what I'm saying? Prom the bricks. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Go to work. Don't you don't owe me nothing. Just go to work. Just for you, yeah, yeah. Man, you know what that dude to do? Hmm. That dude to call me 20 minutes later while I'm out working. 20 minutes later, man, that dude would call me and say, hey, come get me. I said, man, I just dropped you off in the hood to go. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm to the point now where I got, I got stank. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going driving, to, going to, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't even got to be in here no more. Hmm. You in here, and you supposed this to get This your it. trap, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. supposed to get like I got it. Man, that boy called me. That boy said, man, I, I, uh, I fronted that to him. <laughs> I said, come on, man. I gave that to you 
To put yourself on. For you to chop it down and go get paid, bro. Come up. You the front. Of the, you ain't getting nothing in the front. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't find nobody around me that had the mind. I, my mind was always forward. Let's, let's progress. What's the next thing? Yeah. yeah. Let's go get it. So I could never find nobody around me like that. So, you know, that that thing with Dez, man, him being around me like that, man, we connecting and, and you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going by his house, man. We, we doing things, man. And, you know, I was totally cool with the, the, the botany set kind of drawed you with them, man, was they closeness. You know what I'm saying? Them boys was, them boys was. I always hear how it was like real loyalty, like a real brotherhood. Them boys had a brotherhood, man. man. Them boys was, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, these boys real. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of draw me to them. But me and Dez had a whole different connection. So I was cool with all them. But Dez was separate from them for me. You know mm. what I'm saying? He, he he was separate from them. And and you you, you could f maybe feel it was a little different. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, what's Stick and Dez doing? You know what I'm saying? But we was all so cool, so family would never know, you know, what yeah. nothing, what nobody wasn't tripping or nothing. We was, they just didn't understand what we was doing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So man, during that time, man, me and Dez really got connected, man, and like I say, man, I was ready at that time to turn my whole little shebang over to him, hmm. give him all connections, give him all the, you know what I'm saying? Just take over. I know how to, you know, we going for dang a while. I can get something out of this, and you just gonna roll, and you gonna you gonna love it. You know was it was it anything other than like wanting to do what's next? Like was the game like you was like, man, you know what? I'm just tired of this game. Like just certain just certain type of shit. I ain't gonna try to deal with this shit. No more. Yeah, I, you know, money wise, you know, I was I was to the point to where I knew it was just time to stop. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I don't know, DH. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, it's just something deep. You know what I'm saying? I, I, Did you feel like, all right, this, this is too much right now? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's, it's time. Yeah, yeah. It's time. You know what I'm saying? It's time. It's, it's time to, you know, find somebody who you can elevate, where they can get where you at, and then they can stop too. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you try to progress and find something to do with the money while you're not doing nothing too. You know what I'm saying? So so it was one of them deals, man, where the boy had all the hustle in the world. Dead. He was so, he was super real. You know what I'm saying? He know how to handle himself. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know I can trust him. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't introduce nobody to that unless I knew they was about that. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't bring that to screw. You know what I'm saying? That's not his life. You know what I mean? But Dez was real, and Dez could handle it. So that was, that was my next move with that. And uh, I was just really ready to, you know, pass it along and, and move to something else. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Kind of really wash your money clean, DH, you know what I'm saying? Just really, you know, to that point, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah but then, point. I mean, uh, you end up, uh, of course, you end up having to take the 36, you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So. And in between that time, man, meeting Kiki, man, and, you know, bringing him to the neighborhood and, you know, we having fun at Screw House and, you know, doing all them different things, man, to, to you know, just knowing, you know. It's crazy how this particular period, you still, like, you on a monitor and fighting this case and all this live shit going down like this. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm on a monitor. From 93, 95, man, I'm, I'm, I'm on a monitor. I went in in July, right before school birthday, July 10th of 95, his birthday mm -hmm. on the 20th. So, you know, it's it's crazy, man. I probably got caught the case in probably June of 93. So it was a little over two years, you know what I'm saying? I was fighting that case, man, and on that monitor. I had got to the point to where they can, you know, let me be out, you know, to, uh, 11 because I used to have to be seven to seven and and they told me I had to go live with my dad because the what well, my mom stayed in Orleans wasn't conducive for me you know what I'm saying the area they 
the courts said I couldn't go live there. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't live by myself, so I had to live with my dad. So I lived with my dad and, you know, just live life, man, and, and still getting it. You still trying to get it to, to the end? Yeah, I'm still <laughs> getting it, bro. I don't even lie, man. I'm still getting it, man. I, it's, it's some things, man, you know. That, that thing crazy, man, because back then, man, people people really didn't know, you know, enough, man. And, and, man, I had got two jackets on my back that really hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Really hurt me, man. They had, somebody had said that uh, I had snitched on Jimmy Dean, and then somebody said I said, I said something about Q. You know, they both had kind of caught some little cases or something. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, come on, you know. People who know, people who get time and no time, know that if if somebody telling on you, you got to have they gonna have to show you some paperwork mm -hmm. stating their name that this person, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, and and then eventually that person gonna have to come to the courtroom and point you out. Eventually, you know, man, nobody can't never tell you I was in their paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can't never. You know, say I ever showed no courtroom. I, I live by G code, man. And this was going on before you in. This is why you. Nah, was this in. why I was out, man. You know, mm. this is why I was out. You know, because people didn't understand. You know what I'm saying? I'm out fighting the case. Somebody get popped. You know, you know how the streets it. Yeah. Oh, that boy Sticky just got yeah. out. And such and such got yeah. popped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People just go to talking. You know what I'm saying? People go to talking, not really knowing what they're talking about, man. And you know, they put your name out there, man, and that, that kind of stuff make you really want to, you know, kind of trip out on people, man. You know, so I had I, I found a way to just kind of scale back and, you know, get out the way, you know, of people who wouldn't come around me or my tight circle, you know, just stay with that, man, because I don't even know – What's are these people watching? You know, yeah. I go to one. Many people watching me or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I mean because I knew both of them dudes, but I never, I wasn't dealing with them. I ain't had no. Hey man, let me get something. Say, hey man, I never had no dealing with neither one of them like that. You know what I'm saying? Not during these times. I had some dealing before with Jimmy Dean. You know what I'm saying? But during these times, I ain't had no dealings with these dudes. But at the same time, it's like, man, are these people watching? Do they? You know what I'm saying? So. With Jimmy Dean, I asked him. I got a chance to talk to him. Hmm. I said, hey, man, what's going on, man? How did, you know, how, how did you get busted? You know what I'm saying? So he told me, he told me who the dude was. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here through the streets, stick. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't talk to him. And he didn't tell me, man, don't, hey, don't listen to that foolishness. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I wanted to talk to him like, dude, say, man, let me let you know right now, man. I ain't said nothing. They ain't done nothing. What, what happened to you anyhow? Did, did they tell you anything? And, you know, he kind of, he kind of, you know, told me, you know, what was up. And, you know, everything was cool with us. But the streets be talking. You know what I'm saying? That, that run you hot. So that was something that I didn't like. You know what I'm saying? While I was out for them two years. You know, hearing my name in the mix with them two guys I ain't had nothing to do with, you know, yeah. nothing yeah. at all, you know. If that's the case, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't be around him, you know what I'm saying. Because they would have known eventually. Like, like, it's a lot of dudes went back on Blunt. They had to go into the courtroom, hmm. you know what I'm saying. And whoever it was, they had to go in there and Blunt probably could tell you whoever it was. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe some people from Louisiana, I don't know, but I'm just saying it was, that's how they put that, that, that tag on him. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people Everybody were saying. Everybody was coming and saying this is what's going yeah, on. Yeah, he the dude. He the dude. He the dude. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people were saying that, man. So, you know, but, hey, man, that's, that's, that's real weak stuff right there, you know. When you live by G-Code, you don't do that, bro. You don't, you don't tell them nobody. You you know what I'm saying? You hold your own. I ain't have to tell nobody in that because my co-defendant, I ain't never had, I beat my case. Right. I ain't, my, my co-defendant stood strong. People, I ain't never had nothing. I ain't had no drugs. I ain't even get charged with a drug charge. Hmm. 
I got in Miss Prison been a felony. Saying I knew a felony took place and didn't report it. Right, right. Matter of fact, they put me in jail for not telling. <laughs> in Miss Prison been a felony. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, I ain't have no reason to do that. But, you know, that that's something that kind of, you know, ticked me off for a little while. You know, that ticked me off for a while. But, but man, you know, just, just going through that scenario, man, and, and getting home and. When you when you came home, how Pat? I was gonna say was Pat still alive or had he had he just, just for a few months? Hmm. Yeah, man, I came home like in August. He got uh, ninety eight. He got in ninety seven. I went to the halfway house August ninety seven. He got killed February ninety eight. So that was you know what I'm saying. That was that was really, you know, that was really a trip, and that was a time where. I wasn't really connected. I wasn't really connected with Screw, you know, because I was just getting home. I had been in the halfway house, you know what I'm saying? You had to do the halfway house for six months. So by the time I was getting out the halfway house, Pat was getting killed, you know what I'm saying? By that time, but I was, you know, you out. You yeah, know? yeah. So I'm, I could leave and go look for a job, whatever. So I'm out, but I'm, I'm back and forth to the halfway house. So, so once that went on, bro, I got home, he got killed, and then, you know, seeing Screw, man, and, you know, he was taking that pretty hard, you know what I'm saying, Screw was taking that pretty hard, man, it was, you know, me and him have some, some couple of long talks, man, you know, he, it, it was hitting him, man, he showed love, he showed love to Pat and the mom, man, and, you know, he did some things for them, you know what I'm saying, he showed some love to them, and. You know, that, that, that was something that was really, 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 really kind of kind of weighing on him. You know what I'm saying? It, it really I've heard people him. talk about, like, when Fat Pat died, like, that was that was like a burden on Screw. You know yeah, what I'm it bothered him, man. He took that real hard, man. He, he took that real hard, man. That was one of the first times, too, man, I seen that boy uh, smoking them with cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Was, At that time? Yeah, I was like, mm. man, you know. Like why, you know. So that wasn't going on before you went in? Mm mm. I'm telling you, man. This is what I'm telling you about the G code, bro. Screw never I never smoked and drank with Screw where he had to call up on nothing. He ain't had to come out of his pocket for nothing. The party was brung to Screw. He was a part of the party. He was never the party. The only part of the party he was was the ingredients he brung, and that was his music. He ain't never, I mean, when it, Screw was a DJ, dude. Screw didn't have no business. I mean, you didn't, you didn't know of it, but you heard, you heard about it through, you know, whispers from Nikki, uh, just situations. You know what I'm saying? We, we start hearing about it. Screw had a heart problem. You, you really didn't know, but you start hearing it. You know what I'm saying? So we kind of, you know what I'm saying, knew so. You, you never really took it to the max. And then when we all got together, it was a party, bro. It mm. was it was Good time, a collection of people. Yeah. So you don't have time for one person, you know what I'm saying, just, you know what I'm saying, going all out and, you know, just throw, you know what I'm saying? And, and he never had to do them things. He never had to, to, to bring it to where, you know, it's his. You know what I'm saying? It was brought to him. You know, you do your thing, man. We got the, you got the ingredients. Ingredients. We got the spices, bro. We are gonna spice it up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And and it was like that, man. And and you know, when I like I said, when I seen him doing that, you know, I don't know what time from '95 to '98 that happened. You know what I'm saying? While I was gone, I don't know when he start when he start doing that. You know, but when I saw him in in '98. You know, that time me and him was talking about Pat. We were sitting outside in his car. And, you know, he had one of them jumps. And uh, I was like, wow, you know. You ain't say nothing? Like, man, what's, you know, what's going on? No, nah, I, 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 I just kind of, he kind of took me back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm fresh, you know what I'm saying? Stay fresh home. And then just get not, back only, in the mix. not only that, man, I, I really, I try to be conscious about people because, you know, Back then, that stick persona was always, hey, man, what's up? What's happening? Let's get it. I didn't want nobody to think I'm coming out 
I, I took more of a humble, you know, I was more humble when I came home. You know what I'm saying? I was at peace, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was more humble to the point to where I didn't want to push what I believe or see on nobody to where they think I'm tripping. You don't want to run nobody away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't want to run nobody away. People already got a perception about you. People already talk. Matter of fact, after me and Screw got talking, that boy said, man, you ain't changed. They tell me people been telling him I changed. He said, boy, you know, we talked for a while one time. He said, man, you ain't, you ain't changed. You still the same. But that tell me he been talking been to people. It's been a big conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so what people was tripping because you can't because you came home on like you just was done with the streets, you know what I'm saying? Straight and narrow, yeah, yeah, straight and narrow, bro. All about my family trying to get my kids, you know what I'm saying? I, I was trying to get my kids to stay with me, you know, I was trying to really put life together, you know what I'm saying? I was becoming a man, you know, I had did enough in the streets, man, you know, I, I had asked the Lord just when I get home, man, let me. Let me weigh my options, and, and I'm going to put them on a scale, and you let me know which way I need to go. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So so when I when I got home, man, my wife, who my wife is right now, we've been married for uh, 20, 22 years, man. Uh, you know, I got with her. She wasn't my wife then, but, you know, I've been talking to her while I was locked up. So so I got with her, man, and, and I just tried to leave my family. You know what I'm saying? And I knew to do that, I had to do it at a certain pace. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I slowly but surely, you know what I'm saying? So I had to, I had to, I couldn't mingle like I mingled before. You know what I'm saying? I could, in essence, really, to be honest with you, D, I couldn't be stick. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had to show them something else. You know what I'm saying? I, I had to show them, I couldn't show them stick no more because stick gonna make them feel like it's, oh, it's on. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and I knew in my mind it wasn't on. You know what I'm saying? So so I couldn't show that. So now nah, when I when I seen him doing that, I ain't no, nah, I ain't say nothing, man. But 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 as time went on, man, and 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 he ended up passing away, you know, I really believe, bro, that that, that came from, you know, broadening your horizon too much. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, before, man, he was messing with bosses who brought the party to him. You know what I'm saying? When he became the party. You know, who who gonna say stop? You know what I'm saying? Who gonna mm -hmm. say, hey man, we don't need to get hot right now. Because if he stopped getting hot, then people around him ain't gonna be getting hot. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think when he became the party, the life of the party, that's when the issue became because he had to branch out for whoever was around him. You know what I'm saying? When that was never his lane. His lane was DJ, let's drink a little bit, let's smoke a little bit, and keep DJing. You stay doing that, you know what I'm saying? And, and when he brought in that horizon, bro, and, 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 and just kept, you know what I'm saying, going like that, man, I really believe that was his demise, you know what I'm saying? Not that you shouldn't. Screw couldn't keep itself segregated to a certain set of people. He was too big, you know what I'm saying? So not that he shouldn't have brought in his horizon, but, but I don't know, man. I, I don't know if them was them dudes even around him like that. You know, the, the original dudes. I don't was they around him like that? I don't know. I think I think it, people say it's like a different crowd towards the end versus like early on when y'all was first going over there. I, I think yeah. I think everybody started kind of doing their own thing. It was different because I mean, I think the ones that started out, they, you know, the Kikis and all these guys, they real rappers now. They got right a different lifestyle they living. You know what I mean? It ain't the weird screw house kicking it. I would imagine. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's something I kind of be intrigued by and be wondering, bro. Like, you know, what was everybody? You know what I'm saying? Because us who was around in the beginning. Like I said, you didn't know, but you heard, you know what I'm saying, that he did have a heart problem, you know what I'm saying? So so who, who, like you said, did I ask him about, who knew he was smoking like that and didn't say nothing? That, that shit that had the pedigree to do so. When I got home, I didn't want to even... You know the pedigree. I don't. I don't want. I'm, I'm doing that. You don't want to be preacher man, and I, you know what I'm saying. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to run y'all because yeah. I know you didn't heard certain things about me. I don't want you to feel a certain way. I just want to be. I'm gonna let you be you. 
You know what I'm saying? And, and hopefully, as time unveil, I'll be able to talk to you. You know, when I first got home, that boy, I, I, I looked, I talked, Kiki, Pat, in the circle at Hawkenham Highs. That boy, I said, boy, when y'all when y'all slow down, I want to talk to y'all. Hmm. That boy, Kiki, said, yeah, because I'm moving too fast right now. Answer my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't knock a man where he is. I yeah. can't. F yeah. Right now, I don't have time for it. You, mm -hmm. you two kind of, mm -hmm. you, you, you're in a slower lane than me. I'm moving mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving. So so I understood that. You know what I'm saying? I understood it wasn't my time no more, bro. I understood that, man. I knew, you know, you know, for the longest, man, I had been a dominant figure, a dominant name, you know what I'm saying, to our circle. So... I didn't want to come back in our circle and, you know, now Hawk rapping. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let, let me let me rap. I don't want to steal your shine. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You know, because it's it's a difference, bro. It's a difference, man, when when that dude show up, man. It's a difference, D.H. It's, it's really a difference when, when that stick show up. Hmm. It's a difference, man. Hmm. It's a difference. That dude, def, that dude, they're ready to go. Is that still in you by any chance? Oh yeah, because I can hear when you talk about it. I'm like, okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I just, I just suppress myself a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I understand it ain't about me. You know what I'm saying? And I rather, I rather for you. I, I've learned you. You learn much more by listening and learning. I can learn a whole lot by just listening. You know what I'm saying? The rock say, can you smell what the rock is cooking? I can smell what you're cooking, bro, if you just keep talking. The more we talk, the more I'm going to learn about you. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And that's that's the approach I took for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, I'm almost here because now, man, it's, you know, I don't know if my, my, my last son, 18, he'll sing it this year. You know, I, you, know, you know, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's time to do something. Oh, yeah? You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's time to do something. What, 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 talk to me, man. What, what do you, where, where is Stick at right now in, in 2021, man, going into this 2022, man? Man, I'm uh, I'm on one. Hmm. I'm on one, DH. You know what I'm saying? In, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a In a real sense, you know, but know how to keep it to a certain key to what, you know, that, that wild man, let's do it right now, dude. Don't show up. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You know, but at the same time, oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm on one. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm, I'm at that. I'm on one. You know what I'm saying? I, I got Kiki laughing at me now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know he, he ain't really, he, he, he don't really know. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I told him something, and you know, he, he, th he, he probably think I'm tripping. <laughs> you probably think I'm tripping, but but I'm on one though, bro. Yeah, I'm on one. So you hear me somewhere? Just know I'm on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on one. I'm on one, man. So yeah, man. I'm I'm feeling good about that, man. But 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 that was a, that was a hurting part, bro. You know what I'm saying? People die. You know what I'm saying? But but the way way screw died. You know, I I really felt like you know, you know, where are we? You know, we felt him, you know what I'm saying? You know, because like I say, man, he, he was he was always a part of the party, he never was the party. And when he became the party to the point to where, you know, I guess he had to be the head and lead things or, you know, things consist of him doing something, you know, that that, that was the issue, bro. That that was the issue, man, you know. You know. Him doing his own thing, going to get things, and you know that was, you know, dude was a DJ, man. You know what I'm saying? He was a DJ. Not that DJs don't get high. We always got high. Right. But you he could have stayed more in that element. In in his own lane. You know what I'm saying? He stay in his own lane, man. I used to have uh, the dude. Uh, you ever heard Tim Green? You know Run Green? Yeah, yeah. Run G. Yeah, yeah. His younger brother. Okay. He used to cut out all hair. He was the barber. Tim. Yeah, Tim, yeah, 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 yeah. Tim Green. Yeah, 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 yeah. He used to cut out our hair. Other dude, when I see you bring something to the culture, when you're good at what you do, listen, 
man, you can, next time you see Tim, if you ever talk to Tim, ask him some of the things sick you used to tell him. I used to bring that boy to my apartment on the Southwest. We used to get high, drink, play the game. I get in his ear. Hey, man, listen. Don't do what I do. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you do means something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the culture take you to feeling like you need to do what we do or do what I do. You don't need to do that. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm saying by we fail screw, what was that, bro? What was that? That You know what I'm saying? You got your slab. You know what I'm saying? He was a hard worker, man. He was a hard worker. He was true to what he do. Screw was true to what he do, man. You know what I'm saying? What was that person? What was that individual? What was that brother, man, that say, say, man, you tripping right now? Hmm. You know, or did everybody follow? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like from my just outside looking in that everybody just kind of was doing the same thing. Yeah. Everybody getting dipped. Everybody on the oil. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, just – what going in, it's man. just what's going down. You know what I mean? Like, but see, that's see, that's when you that value, when you see that value. You know, you hit them the story by Allen Ivers and uh, them boys. You tell them get off the cut. You know what I'm saying? You 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 don't blown out here. Go on, go in the gym. What was that? You know what I'm saying? What was that? Say man, hey man, hey man. No, you got value right here, bro. Hmm. Man, when I when I met that dude, man. I used to tell that dude, man, you got million dollar hands, boy. Hmm. Million dollar hands. But see, I think it's a difference when you meet somebody and you say, man, you got million dollar hands, and you meet them and they are the million dollar hands. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, now they got stroke, they got power. Now you got to follow them. It's a, it's a different position. Yeah, it's a different me? position. Yeah. When we met him. Yeah, you big homie. Yeah, yeah, it was different. But that, I guess that's what I'm saying, though. What was, you know, what was that? Where were we at? You know, I know where I was, but I'm saying, what was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, did, did did everybody just, you know what I'm saying? Well, who would have who would have been in that role at that time? Who, who would have been like yourself that was alive and, you know what I mean? Pat. Pat, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pat, you know what I'm saying? Keegan, you know? Uh, Dez, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean... I mean, well, you got to think. I mean, Dez got locked up in like 96. Yeah, yeah. Dez went in right behind me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he and, uh, went in. Now, he would, now, now, now he the kind of dude, he going he gonna to talk about it. Hmm. Dez real. He, he going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Dez, Dez got locked up. But, you know, I'm just saying, though, you know, people like Pat now, man, you know, I mean, I mean what? I, I don't know if Pat was around like he was before. I don't know. You have to tell me. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, man, I don't know. I think around that time, like, that's like the Fat Pad 3-2 Mike D era. They doing yeah. South Side Players. Yeah. And they were starting to do, like, songs going to the studio type shit. So, I think they was more on that vibe. And they were still, I think, going to screw. But, like, that's when that started going. And then the DEA. And everybody became real rappers. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true, man. But... I mean, you never supposed to. You never supposed to. You never supposed to disconnect from that connection. Yeah, true that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You supposed to always have some kind of. You know, if it's a phone call, you know what I'm saying? You supposed to like, what's 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 up with you today, boy? What you doing? You know what I'm saying? Or you supposed to be able to hear that and know? You know what I'm saying? Something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when it's genuine, you know, maybe I'm just was too genuine. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I was just too genuine and too serious. Like I said, I did the same thing to a barber. Hmm. Tim Green, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe I was just, you know, kind of ahead of my time in thinking, and you, you know what I'm saying. But, 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 man, you know, I, I feel like, man, when 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 a person got value, and they bring value to the culture, we got to we got to shield that, especially if it ain't in in the, what we doing. If it's outside of what we doing, you got to shield that, man. I don't care if that means funding the brother. Hmm. Say, man, you here. Take this, man, so you ain't got to get out of here. Keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Which he didn't need that. But I'm saying if it had to come to that, you know, you supposed to, you know, you supposed to shield that, bro. You supposed to shield that, man. You don't supposed to be able to, you know. I don't know, man. I, that's something that I always kind of, you know what I'm saying? It kind of bothers me. That one sticks with you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not you know, not that he died, but the way he died. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The way Screw died, man. You know, I feel like, you know, 
the the original the 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 real people who knew him, you know, as Robert Earl Davis, man, we you know, you know, we kind of failed him if he if he died like that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You know, it'd been another thing if he was just you know, on a natural sense, you know what I'm saying, or something like that, or even like you know, hog something, you know, got shit. That's a whole different deal, right? Right. You know, but to to. To, so much you feel like could have been prevented. You would hope so. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe not, but you, you would hope so. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, I say that too, uh, Danny, because I was close to him. You know what I'm saying? To the point to where I was taking him to get his tapes. I was coming to his house, buying him tennis shoes, chilling with him, talking to him. You know, I would pick him up and say, "Say, man, you want to get out the house?" Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Go get him. We roll, smoke. You know what I'm saying? Chill, ride, go get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? You know, partners. You know, you ain't just a DJ to me, man. You're a partner to me. You know, that's how I used to talk to him. Hmm. You more than a DJ to me, bro. You're a partner. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, maybe, 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 you know, maybe everybody didn't feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Maybe everybody didn't see it that way. Maybe everybody didn't see it that way. Hmm. You know, or... Maybe people seen it that way, but but really didn't know how to express it. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, people probably felt that way. I'm quite sure they did, but you know, maybe they just didn't express it like you know. I mean, like and, and truth be told, too, hindsight is twenty twenty. Everybody was young. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know what I'm that's saying? That's right. Like, that's right. I was young though when I heard Kiki. I was young when 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 I got screwed them tennis. Yeah, but you're a different cat though, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm, yeah, everybody, people cut different. Yeah, people cut different, man. And and then you got to really care. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what I love about Dez. Dez the kind of person he really care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dez really care, man. You know, uh, you know that's what I love about him, man. He he really true. He care. He got love, man. And you know, he just real. You know, so yeah, I'm, I'm not blaming nobody, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm just saying I believe we we failed him. You know what I'm saying? In that sense yeah. of not, you know, holding him accountable to. Man, you know you. You know what I'm saying? Say, bro. You know you, you your life, man. What you been you been to the doctor? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you you checked up on yourself, man. You know. Come on, bro. Let's let's make sure you good, man. We need to make sure you good. You know what I mean? Instead of everybody, you know, like you say, though, it's one thing, you, you know, meeting when he was a boss. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, yeah, I get it. Yeah, Man, before we get up out of here, um, I don't know if this is dead end, but who was the Bubba Twins? Is that, were they over there with y'all? Hey, South Acres. South Acres, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's South Acres. Yeah, Bubba, Bubba, Bubba was a cool, little Bubba was, 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 I was real cool with him. I was cool with both of them. But Lil Bubba, man, Lil Bubba, you spent a lot of time together, you know what I'm saying? And they were twins? They were twins, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they were Was twins. one little bit smaller than the other one? How's, how you get Lil Bubba in? Well, like, the, the stoutness. Gotcha. One was stouter than the other, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That, I mean, you had to really know them to know that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But one was stouter than the other, you know what I'm saying? They some cool brothers, man, some real cool dudes, man. Uh, you spend some time with them boys, man, you go over their house. Knew they mama, they sister, they dad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, they stayed in South Dakota. And they was just like just young hustling cats like around at the time. Yeah. 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 Going to get it, man, you know. Going to get it. They had a slap back too. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? The boy boys the boy, I, I think they finna get out, I think. Uh, they got both they got locked up together? Yeah, they I don't know if they was together, but they yeah, locked they time. both locked yeah. up, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think they finna come home if I ain't mistaken though. And they were in there for a long ass time. Yeah, man. I think they finna get ready to come home. Man. Man. So, nah, they were good dudes too, man. Real good dudes, bro. Yeah. Man, talk about uh real quick and then we'll get up out of here. The slant back in the slab game. Like what does the slant mean? You know what I'm saying? Like Overall? What, yeah. Just the slant itself. Is is the slant is the slant superior in the slab game or is it just another because I've heard some people say like the slant is like Upper echelon in the slab game where you talk about your lax and all that. And Back then it was that that slant was that Seville was yeah. that was the lag. Hmm. You know you had the Fleetwood Broham, but then you had that slant back Seville 
And that thing took a life of itself, man. So the Fleetwood Bro hand was big in the slab game? That, that was a big deal? That was a, that was a big time Cadillac. Gotcha. You know, probably a lot of people might not have had them, but that was a big time Cadillac, though. But then you had the Cadillac slap back Seville. You know what I'm saying? And in our in our section, in our era, the slant back, it, it yeah, it reigned supreme. Hmm. Yeah, them slants was, boy, them things was just the way they were made, you know what I'm saying? With that slant, just, you know, some of them, some of them came with their fifth wheel and in the trunk. In the trunk, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them, them, them slants was, man, them, them slants was real. The only thing I kind of regretted about mine was when I got it, I couldn't go back to my red because too many dudes was red already. Hmm. So I told you I brought that candy out. Right, right. I couldn't go back red, so I had to had to jump in a whole another lane. I painted my car candy purple. Yeah, yeah. Because it was too many of them red, so I couldn't I couldn't go back red. I wanted to go red though. So you wasn't really in, it wasn't the whole thing about the South Ride red and all that. You wasn't really into that. No, we ain't had them red line, green line. Yeah. No, yeah. no, we ain't have all that. It was just it was individual putting your slabs together. Yeah. 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 Putting your slab together, man, and that, and that's why that, that's why that's why that blunt, man, you know that blunt, that blunt back in the day, man, that blunt had a canary, yellow beans or something, beans in Park that. Avenue. Mm. Say, man, that youngster, that youngster was cold, man. Yeah, he was cold, man. So you know, I most definitely see why people, you know, through that. You know, uh, uh, Slab King on him. You but you, I was gonna ask you, is he the, who is the Slab King to you? You know, bi- bias because he was given to him. You know, I say because of longevity and creativity, I would say Blunt. But I would say too, it's some dudes up there, man, that 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 got an arguing case. If you hmm. know, like me, I'm 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 with I'm down with Blunt. You know what I'm saying? But it's some dudes up there that that. You can argue their case, bro. Who else would you throw in in that in that category? I would, I would, I would most definitely throw Anthony Coleman from from Cloverland, Poochie. Hmm. He was cold with it, man. That boy had drives. That boy had jag. That boy, I'm talking about all this stuff at the same time, man. That boy, that boy, he was cold with it. Yeah. He was cold with it. A youngster. I got, I got some respect for that boy, man. He was cold. Yeah. Uh, man, I I throw IJ in there too. This dude named IJ. Hmm. Hey, IJ had blaze on, on on elbows. He had Cadillac, Lexus on bars. You know what I'm saying? He hmm. was real strong and 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 I throw Condre in there too. Condre, that's the name that I hear. Uh, I throw Condre in there, man. Hmm. And and just to be real with you, you know, depending on who presenting the case, them boys got an argument hmm. for that name, bro. Hmm. They got an argument for I that I heard name. that Condre. That Condre oh, that come Condre up a lot. was a boy. Look here. Yeah. Boy, that Condre, boy, that Condre was a mad man. What's, what's some of the slabs that, that stick out? That boy out had a drop you know? dog. Mm. That boy had a lack. That boy, that boy, uh, what else that boy had? He had another old school. That boy, Condre, man. And was Condre like? Bourbon, I think he had a bourbon. Was he in y'all age or he was a little older? Younger? He was about our age, man. Mm. Condre, Condre, man. That boy was cold, man. Hmm. And he was from what, Third Ward or something like that? Nah, he was from Northdale. Northside. Northdale, okay. okay. Uh, uh, Belford. Yeah, okay, yeah, MLK yeah. and Belford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Northdale. In that area, you know, MLK, across the track, MLK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go across the track on Belford. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he was from over there, man. That boy, that boy was cold, man. Clark he had some guys over here too, man. Clark had some guys, man, but them four right there, that blunt, that AC, IJ, Condre, they they got a them case. Four right there. Them, yeah, them mm. three, and, and 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 you know them three got a case for the for that name. Mm. That Slab King, Blunt Blunt has so much longevity though, man. You know, and he has so many different slabs, bro. Yeah, Blunt had a lot, man. Blunt and everything he had was holding. I mean, everything he had was holding, yeah, man. Yeah. From bourbons to Benzes to trophy trucks. Yeah, he had to step side and all kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, man, man, to old school, to slant. Hmm. I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? You know, I used to kill him. I used to mess with him 
Tell them mine all original though. You know what I'm saying? My call original white inside, just Oh no shit. Oh, I ain't had to go get no NC. Them boy them boys bought cars and had to slab them. When I went and bought my car, my car was ready. Off the lot, ready. Off the lot. David Taylor, bro. Mm. I went and got my car from David Taylor. The slant? The slant. That joker was sitting up, sitting up on one of them elevated. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Say they had to bring it down to me, DH. Yeah, that thing was white on white, original white. What what year was it? What year was it? Uh was it 85, 91, 80, 80, 88. Hmm. Yeah, it was 88. That thing was so, bro. Man, that thing. Man, surround so used to do everybody music. The white dude, uh uh James, cool dude, man. He he was the engineer over there. He used to put everybody trunk together. He used to Get the music. The boy said, man, I'm going to tell you something. Every slant back that come in here, the boy said from Quincy to Blunt to I don't care, whoever that come in here, he said, nobody car tight as yours. Hmm. I'm talking about just put together, tight. He said, man, you hear, you, you, I had 418s in there. The boy said, you hear your music, how much music you got, and you hear that? It's, it's thumps, it don't rattle hmm. because your car so put together. You know what I'm saying? 418s in that thing, 418, boy. bro. Popping trunk with wood. Two on the side, you, two you on the back. Hmm? You got pictures of this? You got pictures of this? I seen you some pictures yeah. of the car. Yeah. But you know what? I, I don't have no pictures of my trunk. That's what I hate, man. Dad yeah. designed that thing. Man, look, I had my my, my box was made. I had four, two 18s coming from the side. Mm -hmm. I still had my back seat, too. It was still luxury. 218s coming from the side and 218s coming. Mm -hmm. Say, dude, 418s, man. On a, on a, on a, on a, on a Zeus. Hyphonic, Hyphonic Zeus, man. I'm talking about beating up the block, man. man. I can only imagine, dog. Say, man. <laughs> Say, now, now. I ain't going to put myself in no class with them guys at Slab Kings. But I will tell you this. I had the first candy. And my car was original. Hmm. My slant was original. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was it was some perfection to what I did. You know what I mean? I, I, I ain't the I ain't the blunt. I ain't the AC. You know I ain't none of them. When you came down, you came down. I ain't the country. Yeah. 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 yeah when I came down, I came down. I had 735 BMW too. I don't know shit. Yeah, seven series. Yeah, before I went, before I went in, yeah, yeah, on Antares, one, two, three, Antares, Ooh. rolling heavy in the Chevy on the one twenty threes. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had some thirty five on one twenty threes, man. They had Brightons at first, and I got rid of them. Man, got the one twenty three Antares, man, with that Momo wheel, man. Man, come on, man. With that wood grain remote. Come on, man. Man, I'm telling you, TV. Man. Yeah. In the, in the, uh, right, in the, in the, in the blow the, part of the mm -hmm, dash, little mm -hmm. screen right there. Boom, wood everywhere. Had mm -hmm. the whole car done wood. In. I'm talking about. You had it done wood. Had it done wood. I'm talking about oak in there. I'm talking about. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't put but 212s. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to keep it foreign. Yeah. 212 banging. Popped up. It, 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 it wasn't. It was just a real wet blue, with great with dark gray inside. Mm. Oh my last slab, seven thirty five. Man, seven thirty five, bro. That's loud, man. Well, man, I, I appreciate you coming through, man. I'm at that. Hey, you come through again a little bit later on. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man, you and Dez or something. I know if we all sit there. Ain't no telling. Oh you know man, I mean? yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, no doubt. But man, this was live, man. You yeah, no, nah, I appreciate you, bro. Like I yeah. say, man, I feel your vibe. I like your movement, man. I, I think, I think, I think your movement is a lot like that. What I saw in Screw, man. You know what I'm saying? I think you're doing some good things, man. Keep doing you. You know what I'm saying? Keep your grind on, bro. You, you know, you can take that thing to the whole. You know, I think, I think the culture feeling you. You know, people loving what you do. I think people want to come, you know, regardless how it go, you know. You may say, hey, man, I'm glad you're coming, but at the end of the day, they want to come. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
You're doing some good things, bro. You're doing man, some good I things, man. You, man. you got me out here, so you're doing I, some good things. I got to stick one on the podcast. Yeah, man. so you're this, this is on. I got a goal list. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. UCB, it's a couple of people that's like I say, Southside superheroes, in my opinion. I thought you know about that boy, like, man. I said, man, you know what? I'll call Blunt, tell him to come with me. Blunt, man, I, I'm trying to get Blunt. I'm still trying to get. You know, Blunt, Blunt ain't I've seen no him out a couple times, and he I know, ain't no talker. Yeah, Blunt ain't yeah. no talker, man. He, I didn't know like. You hear so much about him, you know what I'm saying? And then somebody was like, man, you know, Blunt kind of chill. And then I met him, and I'm like, oh, Blunt, like, real, like, yeah, he, he, laid back. Like, yeah, he, he ain't going to get he, too much out of him. Nah, he ain't no talker, man. He, yeah. You know, pretty much what you probably would call introverted. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He, he, You know, Blunt just do him. You know what I'm saying? He stay out the way. He ain't going to do no lot of talking, man. You know, he real, super real. You know, I love him to death, man. But Blunt, Blunt, not that he won't come sit down. I think he will. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I'm just saying he's just not a heavy talker. His personality, talker. yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. not a heavy talker. He's yeah. not a heavy talker, man. So Yeah. But he'll he he'll, he'll come. Cause yeah. your vibe. Yeah. He'll come. I got I gotta get him, man. Blunt, man. Come he on. Come, man. He gonna come. You know yeah. Come on, come on, holler, Blunt. Yeah. Yeah, he'll come. Blunt'll come, man. He, yeah. he 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 he'll feel your vibe, man, because you, you real, you know what I'm saying? Look like man, you you, you serious about your work. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah, saying like you're serious about your work, so yeah, man, you, you you're gonna you're gonna touch all the history, man. You are gonna touch all the guys, man. Your goal list. How many more you got on now? Man, it's a few. It's a few. It's I can't even tell you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But yeah. it's it's a few people on there. But you get them. Yeah. You get them, bro. Yeah. You get them. Yeah. You get them. Not let me know. I holler. That's a bet. That's a bet, man. Come on through, bro. That's a bet, man. I appreciate you coming through, man. No doubt, real, man. You know what no what doubt. Saying? Much love. All right, man. It's Donnie Eustace podcast. Stick one. Hey, man, we out of here. Peace.